topic uh, for, uh, now is about weathering. So weathering, is, uh, as I said uh, on the previous topics, so it is the, uh, the, the decomposition or the disintegration of rocks and minerals to become soil. Okay, yung pagbabago na nakikita niyo dito from this, uh, this disintegrating rock or a bedrock na naging, uh, na nagkaroon ng apparent material na na-form yung A-horizon, that is the product of what we call weathering process. So weathering can either be classified as physical weathering and chemical weathering. So actually, we also have biological weathering. Okay, so I will be not uh, tackling about biological weathering, but biological weathering is somehow caused by organisms. Like yung, for example, yung pag nagtanim tayo ng, uh, ng halaman, di ba, yung roots nila, yung roots nila, they, co they, uh, they break down rocks. So that is an example of uh, biological weathering. But it is also considered as physical weathering because there are physical changes on, uh, on rocks. Then, uh, Biological weathering, example of that also is yung mga microorganisms natin. They alter the chemical composition of rocks and minerals, but, they can, but that can be also classified as a chemical weathering because it involves the changes in, in chemical composition of the rocks. So because of that, I considered uh, um, discussing the two types of weathering process, which is physical weathering and chemical weathering. So physical weathering, it's the breaking of rocks and minerals into smaller pieces without any change in the chemical composition. So uh, parang sa, uh, uh, sa chemistry lang yan, parang physical changes and chemical changes. Like for example, yung paper natin, di ba? We, uh, yung papel, ginupit-gupit natin into smaller pieces. So that is considered as physical changes. We're in pag yung rocks natin, nagbago din ng sizes, that is physical weathering. So, walang, walang, uh, walang nag-change sa chemical composition ng rocks natin. When we say chemical weathering, so it involves change in chemical composition of rocks and minerals, which results to simpler products. Okay? Like for example naman, yung paper natin, sinunog natin, okay? Naging, uh, naging abo. So, that is, that has caused a physical changes. So that is uh, actually comparable to chemical weathering. Pag yung rocks natin, for example, nag-absorb ng water, yung water is nag ng chemical changes sa composition ng rocks and minerals. So that uh, is considered as a chemical weathering process. So first we will discuss about physical weathering. So physical weathering is the breakdown of rocks into various fragments caused by various physical stresses. So uh, bear in mind that in physical weathering, there is no change in chemical composition or elements added nor subtracted. So what subtracted? So walang na, 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 na dagdag na elements dun sa, sa rocks and minerals natin, wala din na wala. They just uh, changes in size. Okay. So commonly, uh, uh, physical weathering happens because of what we call fracturing due to expansion and contra con uh, contraction. So one example is yung ating, uh, although it, uh, it is not commonly happened here in the Philippines because we didn't, uh, we are not expecting uh, uh, colder climates below zero. So hindi naman nagpa-prose yung soil natin dito. So, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, uh, freezing and towing process. Pag freezing, so freezing, ibig sabihin, nagyayelo yung, yung rocks natin. Then towing, uh, dahil uminit, ma, ma, maluluso yung yelo, so that will cause towing. Di ba? Pagka nag, naglagay tayo ng karne sa, sa ref natin, so freeze, pag yung karne, ay uh, tinanggal natin sa rep, dinabad natin sa tubig, uh, towing ang tawag natin doon. Okay? <clears throat> so that will cause the fracturing of of, uh, of rocks. Kasi di ba, yung rocks natin, there are small pore spaces or may mga butas yan. So papasok doon yung water or yung moisture. 
then because of uh, below zero temperature, magpi-freeze ngayon yung water doon. So alam naman natin yung yung yellow maa-arrange yung H2O na element doon. So that will cause expansion of that uh, of that uh, element of that molecule, yung water molecules natin, di ba? Pag uh, a great example, pag naglalagay tayo ng, ng, ng tubig sa ref, di ba? Pagka sa mga bentahan ng yellow, di ba? Pagka yung uh, pagka naging uh, yellow na yung tubig sa ref, nag expand yung plastic na pinaglagyan mo. So, uh, parang ganyan din sa rocks. So, pag nag expand yung 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 yellow dun na 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 pumasok doon sa rocks, magkakos ng physical stress doon sa rocks. Okay? Then kapag ka nagtow uli or naging water uli yung 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 yellow, so papasok uli doon sa rocks, then magiging yellow uli. So that will cause uh, fracturing of rocks. So, so that's an alternate uh, heating and cooling. So yan yun. Oh. It, uh, this is the what I am saying, the cross wedging. So water enters the crack, then water freezes as temperature drops which causes an expansion against wall of rocks so nag expand yan then that will cause the disintegration of or the dislodging of rocks so other example is abrasion so abrasion is when ice water or wind causes sediments to have collision that causes physical weathering so wind abrasion is similar to sand blasting and snow weathers the the down. So as you can see here, yung dahil uh, yung yung uh, sand blasting natin or yung wind abrasion. Pag uh, humangin ng malakas, okay, yung yung wind natin ay nagdadala ng mga ng mga sediments. So magagasgas ngayon dahil natangay sila, magagasgas ngayon yung tatamaan nilang rocks. So that is what we call abrasion. Then we have the root growth or light sheds. So it is actually uh, under the biological weathering. So yung mga roots ng, halap, ng trees natin, and also yung light sheds natin, that will cause the physical disintegration of rocks and minerals. Then exfoliation, exfoliate, di ba, pag natatanggal yung surface. So, pagka umiinit, then sa gabi, lalamig. So, that will cause the exfoliation of rocks. Then, we have erosion. So, as you can see here, di ba yung impact ng water? So, nag-erode yung uh, mga particles ng rocks. Okay? That is an example of uh, erosion. So, erosion can be caused by uh, water erosion or wind. Then, a uh, chemical uh, weathering. So, when we say chemical weathering, it involves change in chemical composition of rocks and minerals, which results to simpler products. So, the process causes internal structure or of original rock to be destroyed to form new minerals with crystal structure which are stable. So, here are the, the common, uh, the common uh, chemical weathering process in soil. So we have hydration. So from the word itself, hydration nagiging hydrated. So may absorption ng water na 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 involved. So minerals absorb water and chemically change the composition of the material. So water molecules binds with a mineral. Example of this is we have here an um, an iron oxide which uh, absorbs a uh, water that will uh, yields to other. Uh, to another uh, chemical uh, formula. So example are granites that contains mica. So mica has a weak chemical composition and absorbs water. Then we have here hydrolysis. So hydrolysis, uh, as we all know, hydrolysis is the split of hydrogen and hydroxide component. And the hydrogen component replaces a cation from a mineral's structure. So yung H2O natin that will yield to H positive and OH negative. So makikita niyo dito sa pot uh, potassium aluminum silicate natin, nag-absorb siya ng water, itong water na to ay mag-undergo uh, mag ng hydrolysis. Then yung yung hydrogen, ipinilitan niya yung cation. 
which is yung potassium. Nakita nyo dito, yung aluminum, ang kasama niya na ngayon is yung hydrogen. So that is, then nahiwalay na yung potassium. So that is an example of chemical weathering, specifically hydrolysis. Then we have dissolution. So from a solution, okay, so uh, because of water, mag, uh, mag, uh, madidissolve yung, yung chemical elements. Makita nyo dito, for example, is yung calcium sulfate natin. So after combination to a water molecule, so nahiwalay na yung calcium at saka yung sulfate. Uh, like for example, yung salts natin, di ba, nagdi-dissolve tayo ng asin, which is for example, yung ating table salt. So, sodium and chlorine. So, yung sodium and chlorine natin ay pinaghihiwalay yung sodium at chlorine natin ng mga water molecules. So, that is similar to calcium sulfate. Then, we have the carbonation. So, carbonation is uh, caused by carbonic acid. So when a carbon dioxide reacts to uh, to water, so H2O plus CO2, that will yield to a carbonic acid or H2CO3. Then that carbonic acid will will, uh, will react to other uh, <coughs> minerals, like for example, uh, calcite or calcium carbonate. So that will yield to a calcium plus a uh, carbonic acid. So hiniwalay niya yung yung carbonate sa calcium. That is carbonation. Then oxidation process from the word itself, oxidation, it is caused by oxygen. A typical example is the formation of rust. When an iron oxide is oxidized by, uh, by another oxygen, so that will yield to a rust. Okay? F-O-O-O-H. So, uh, how uh, weathering affects the stages of stage of development of, of soil? So, during soil formation, primary minerals weather at varying rates. So, sa unang stage or dun sa earliest stage ng weathering natin, the composition of readily weatherable minerals. So, yung mga most madal madaling ma-weathered na minerals, sila yung unang nag-apektuhan ng weathering process. So, these are commonly the basic cations. The removal of calcium and magnesium. Sila yung nasa unang stage. So, kaya sa second stage, there will be an acidic soil because calcium and magnesium uh, are basic elements. So, the loss of basic elements will cause the acidity of soil. Kaya di ba napapansin natin yung lupa natin kapag ka umaasim na or sinabing namumul na yung lupa. So, ibig sabihin, nasa nasa latter stage na siya ng weathering kasi nawala na yung mga basic cations doon. Okay, kaya di ba dinadagdagan natin ng mga ng ibang ng organic matter para mabalik yung mga cations natin. So these are the uh, at early stage and intermediate stage and advanced stage of weathering. So ito yung mga rocks and minerals na present pag early stage, then intermediate stage at saka advanced stage na weathering natin. Then here is the uh, resulting soil orders. So pag bata pa yung soil natin, we have aridisols and antisols. So in soils, we have what we call the soil orders. Ito yung uh, paano natin kinaklase pa yung lupa. So pag bata yung lupa, they are aridisols and antisols. Pag in the intermediate stage, we have inceptisols, molisols, alphisols, and sphodosols. Where in kapag ka nasa advanced stage na, yung medyo acidic na yung lupa natin, they are called ultisols and toxisols. 